air at 20 degree Celsius. So let's say T infinity equal to 20 degree Celsius. Atmospheric pressure is flowing with a velocity of 3 meter per second. So U infinity is 3 meter per second. The plate is 30 centimeter wide. So width equal to 0.3 meters. And T W is equal to wall temperature is 60 degree Celsius. We want to calculate the following quantity at x equal to 30. The boundary layer thickness delta hx. So we want at x equals to 0.3 delta hx. Local friction quotient is Cfx. Cfl and tau x and tau wall. So the thickness of thermal boundary layer is uh, delta Tx. Average heat transfer point is H. And local heat transfer point is Hx. And the total heat transfer from this one that is equals to and mass flow rate. Now the velocity is given to us so this is a problem of force convection. And the air is flowing over a flat plate so this one is the external flow. And geometry is plate. To use the correct correlation you have to first find out what is the Reynolds number at x equals 2.3 where exactly we are interested. So local Reynolds number is Rex is equals to u infinity multiplied by x multiplied by nu. We have given rho so we will use rho into u infinity into L divided by m. So if we consider entire length L we will check out the flow is laminar or turbulent. Reynolds density is given as 1.28 u infinity is given as 3 meter per second length of plate will consider as same as x that equals to 0.3 in that case our rex will be same as rel because it is given as 19.1 10 to the power minus 6 we get a Reynolds number equal to 5.3 into 10 to the power 4 and this Reynolds number is less than critical Reynolds number that is 5 into 10 to the power 5 it means that the entire flow is laminar thus our problem is designed for laminar flow so you can go to the table from index you check the force flow then external then plate and take the laminar flow according to my data book it's a page number 113 but depending upon your addition the page number may change first of all we require a calculation of Prandtl number so Prandtl number is given by mu cp by k you can put for mu equal to 19.1 10 to the power minus 6 cp you have to put in joules that is 1007 and k is equal to 0 0.0273 so we will get until number approximately equals to 0.7 in case of air this value is very close to 0.7 so we are getting 0 0.074 let's calculate one by one that is a boundary layer thickness that is delta hx for laminar flow this number is given this value is given by phi u multiplied by x into rx to the power minus 0.5 there is a correction is not instead of 0.05 you have to take 0 0.5 so delta hx so delta H has come out to be 6.5 10 to the power minus 3 or 6.5 mm. Now you want to calculate the local skin friction coefficient. In the same table you will find out the equation for CFX is given as 0.664 into Rex to the power minus 0.5. Now put the same value of Rex that is 5.3 10 to the power 4 and multiplied by 0.664 we will get cfx equals to 2.8 10 to the power minus 5 this is a very very low number the average skin friction coefficient is just exactly double remember in laminar flow all values of local and average are multiplied by 2 so we have cfl equals to 2 times of cfx that will be equals to 5.76 10 to the power minus 5 local shear stress that is tau x is given by half into rho into v square multiplied by cfx so we have c 2.88 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 1 by 2 density is 1.128 and the velocity is 3 meter per second so we will get a shear stress in pascal 0 0.0146 pascal Similarly, if you want to calculate the average, we have to just multiply this value by 2. So, tau wall is simply equals to 2 times of tau x is 0 0.0292 Pascal. The thermal boundary layer thickness that is equal to delta Tx, you can find on the same page, is given by delta Tx equals to hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness that is equals to delta Hx multiplied by Prandtl to the power minus 0.33. Delta Hx is 6.5 mm multiplied by a Prandtl number we have just known the Prandtl number is 0 0.704 to the power minus 0 0.33 our answer will come in mm 
so delta tx 7.3 mm now we will calculate local heat transfer coefficient so we will go to the same table you will find there nux is given by 0.332 into rex to the power 0.5 multiplied by Prandtl to the power 0.33 so put for Reynolds number equal to 5.3 10 to power 4 and Prandtl number equal to 0 0.704 in this equation you will get this value equal to 68.11 our local Nusselt number is given by hx multiplied by x divided by k so we can have 68.11 is a new x we want to find out hx local heat transformation x is equals to 0 0.3 0 0.0273 so this gives the value of local heat transformation hx is 6.19 watt per meter square kelvin to find out the average heat transformation either you multiply by nux by 2 or you can directly write down h equals h equals to 2 times of hx this is only valid for laminar flow is 12.38 watt per meter square and finally we will calculate heat transfer as area multiplied by h tw minus t infinity area we have a 0.3 by 0.3 that is the size of the plate width multiplied by length heat transfer will take average 12.38 wall temperature is known to us is 60 degrees celsius and the fluid temperature is given to us is 20 degrees celsius the heat transfer rate come out to be 44.5 joules per second we want kilojoules per hour so we will multiply this value by 3600 and we will get the answer in kilojoules per hour first we will get joules then you have to divide by 1000 so approximately answer is 164.4 kilojoules per hour at plate 1 meter wide and 1 meter long is placed in a wind tunnel the temperature and the velocity of air are 10 degrees celsius and 80 meter per second so t infinity equal to 10 degrees celsius u infinity equal to 80 meter per second it is mentioned that the plate is made turbulent by using a turbulizing grid it means that it has a very small region of laminar and entire region is almost turbulent so we will model this one as a turbulent flow because it is given in the numerical so we want to find out hydronomic boundary layer thickness at trailing edge and uh, mean value of heat transfer in H so in this case we are given a velocity so it's a problem of force convection and air is flowing over the plate so this one is external flow and the geometry is plate it is also mentioned in the problem the turbulent flow so we will directly use the equation for turbulent flow so you go to the table and find out in force convection external flow and plate and turbulent flow you will get a correlation there so in so total Reynolds number is REL is given by U infinity multiplied by LC so in the case of uh, external flow LC will be same as equals to the dimension measured parallel to the plate that equals to 1 velocity is 80 length is LC is equal to 1 and kinematic is given as 14.15 10 to the power minus 6 so total Reynolds number is equals to 5.653 10 to the power 6 which is very much greater than the critical Reynolds number so our assumption is correct that is the entire flow is laminar we have to find out the Prandtl number in the calculation so Prandtl number is given by mu cp by k not given so we will take rho multiplied by nu multiplied by cp by k so we can collect the property as rho equal to 1.27 and cp equal to 1005 nu equal to 14.15 10 to power minus 6 and k equal to 0.252 our Prandtl number should come very close to 0.7 so we are getting 0.695 in case of a HBL thickness for laminar flow is given by delta HX equals blunt flow it is given as 0.38 multiplied by X multiplied by REX to the power minus point so let's substitute X equals to here we are interested in X equal to L so we'll replace all X by L so we get 0.38 L multiplied by REL to the power minus 0.2 so we have 0.38 length is given as 1 and we have calculated round number is 5.635 10 to the power 6 whole power is minus 0.2 so HBL thickness come out to be 0 0.017 or we can say 17 mm find out the heat transfer coefficient we have to use the equation correlation for turbulent flow it is given as NU equals to 0 0.037 RE to the power 0 0.8 Prandi to the power 0 0.33 we have 0 0.037 REL is 5.653 10 to the power 6 and Prandtl is 0 0.695 0 0.695 to the power 0 0.33 plus 8276 
is given by H L C by K. L C is same as L, so H equals to eight two seven six multiplied by K is point two multiplied by K that equals to point two five five two divided by L C that equals to one. So H equals to two one one watt per meter square Kelvin. Air at seven sixty m of G and twenty degree Celsius flows over a flat plate at three meter per second. So this one is external flow because the air is flowing over this. The plate. The plate is at 50 cm. We have a geometry is a flat plate. You have to identify only the flow is laminar or flow is turbulent. That is you have to calculate null number for both cases. We have two cases. In one side the 50 cm is side is parallel, and second case we have 25 cm side is parallel. So let's consider we have a plate here and 50 cm is parallel right now. U infinity is equal to 3 meter per second. 50 cm side is parallel to the flow, so we have LC equals to 50 cm. The characteristic length T infinity is 20 degree Celsius, and the wall temperature is maintained at 100 degree Celsius. To find out the flow is laminar or turbulent, we'll use the Reynolds number, which is given by U infinity into L by nu. So we have three U infinity is three L is 0.5 divided by kinematic viscosity is 18.96, 10 to the power minus six. So Reynolds number is 0.79 into 10 to the power 5. That is less than 5 into 10 to the power 5, which is the critical Reynolds number. Hence, the entire flow is laminar. So we can go to the table of laminar and we can find out the correlation for this. So go to the index and just check the lines given to you: force convection, external flow, plate, and laminar flow. So first, find out Prandtl number, which is nu by alpha is equal to rho into nu into Cp. Prandtl number is mu Cp by k equal to rho into nu into Cp by k. Put all this value here and find out the value of Prandtl number for air should be very close to point. So value is 0.6935, which is very close to a standard value of 0.7. Now for laminar flow, you will get a relation of nu equals to two times of nux. Nu bar equation is not available rather than nux is available. So it is 2.0332 rex to the power 0.5 Prandtl to the power 0.3. In this case, rel will be same as rex. So we'll substitute for Rx equals to 0.79 into 10 to the power 5, and Prandtl number equals to 0.636935. Nusselt number is 165.31, but Nusselt number is given by HLC by K, where LC equals to 0.5, and K is known to us is 0.0285. So we'll get H equals to 165.31 divided by K 0.0285 divided by LC. 0.5. So H value come out to be 9.54 watt per meter square Kelvin. Heat transfer from this is given by A multiplied by H multiplied by temperature difference that is T W minus T infinity. Area is equal to 0.5 multiplied by 0.25. Heat transfer is 9.54 coefficient, and wall temperature is 100 and T infinity is 20. So 100 minus 20. We can get the answer in joule per second. This is 95.38 joules per second. We want per hour, so we'll multiply by 3600. That will convert into hour, second to hour. So we have 343.3 kilojoules per hour. Let's consider the second 25 cm side is kept parallel. So the fluid is flowing parallel to 25. Hence LC will be equals to 25. So we can calculate again the Reynolds number. So we have U infinity multiplied by L divided by nu. U infinity is 3. L is this time is 0.25 and kinematic viscosity is 18.96 ten to the power minus six. Naturally, this number is less than the previous number. The flow will be likely to be laminar. Number is 0.39 into ten to the power five, which is less than critical Reynolds number is five into ten to the power five. So we have to use the same equation. Nu equals to two times of nux. And nux is equals to 0.332 into rx to the power 0.5 into Prandtl to the power 0.3. So put up for uh, Reynolds number equals to 0.39 into 10 to the power 5 and Prandtl number equal to 0.6935 to the power 0.33. Nusselt number is 116.8, but Nusselt number is given by H L by K. We have K equals to 0.0285 and L C equals to 0.25. So we get H. Equals to 116.8 multiplied by 0.0285 divided by LC 0.25. This gives the value of H equals to 13.48. Finally, we have equation of Q, which is similar to the previous one. So area equals to same as 0.5 multiplied by 0.25. Value of H this time is 13.48. Wall temperature is 100 and fluid temperature is 20. The heat transfer rate is 134.89 joules per second. We have to multiply by 3600 to convert into kilojoules per hour. So final answer is 4. 485 point kilojoules per hour